Hey, collective. I just had to click on the video because I'm, as I'm sitting here meditating, and I'm just in this happy ass energy, just connecting with the divine. And I'm like, God, I'm observing, but I ain't absorbing. I'm like, first I said divine, and boom, this card came out. And then this card came out, strength. And then as I was saying, I am not, I'm not, I'm observing, but I'm not absorbing. The high priestess came out. Oh, I just love when I connect through meditation with my, 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 my spiritual tools, my, my cards. And I just love you so much, God. Like, I literally wish, I really wish that I could hug the divine, the most high. You hear that horn? They're like, we're around you, baby girl. We hug you every time just to let you know we are in your energy. We're in your presence. You are us. We are you. You are connected. I want to talk about anger today. I want to talk about pride. Pride is an excessive view of oneself without regards to others. This is one of the deadly sins, okay? Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. But let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me. That I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in this things I delight, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 9 verses 23 through 24. <clears throat> Pride, anger. Pride to get people in some real not good energy, guys. I was talking with my soul sister and I was just like, like, I've been like just little old me, leave me alone, people. <laughs> She's like, this is going to happen. Get ready. It's going to happen. You're going to have people come after you because you're exposing the truth. You're triggering these people. I'm like, yes, I know. I know. I get it. I get it. I know they're watching. My ancestors are watching them. Me triggering you is not to get you mad at me. It's so that you could go in and reflect. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the high priestess in my strength doing what God asked me to do. That's it. And, you know, some people get triggered and get angry. They get in their pride. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just sitting here on my podium doing what God is asking me to do what is that what is God asking me to do to listen to my intuition guide and help others heal heal <sighs> be strong standing at your post divine collective because you're going to have people getting mad. Spirit saying, I can never make this up. I can't make this up. Not even if I wanted to. I can't. I don't know how to. I never even thought I was going to be sitting here doing this. I was a financial advisor. Do you understand me, collective? Working in a, fortune, in a, in a big global company that's globally known all around the world. 411. What's the 411, hun? Got it going on. I didn't know that this is what I would be doing. I didn't know. I did not know that COVID was almost going to knock me out. I didn't see this coming. I can't make it up. That me coming out of that hospital, I was coming out like this. My third eye and crown chakra was like, woo, woo. It was like. You know when you see those movies and it's like you hear and then you see the red lights flashing like that, right? Like in a hallway or in a, in a, in a hospital. That's what happens to me. I can't help it. <laughs> I 
I can't help it. I knew that this is a contract I signed. Now that I'm more evolved, more aware, I know this is something I signed up for before I came down to earth. But when I walked out of that hospital, I didn't know. I knew something changed within me. I felt it. My willpower changed. It got so strong. Stand at your post, collective. I learned how to balance. Go back into the love to myself. What I was seeking from my exes, I learned how to pour it into my feminine, myself. I learned how to be my own savior with the help of the divine, Jesus Christ, the archangels, the ascending masters, my divine ancestors that guided me the whole way. Ashe. Ashe, divine ancestors. I feel you drawing close to me at this time. It's all about getting triggered and learning to heal. Learning, instead of getting angry and being in your pride, learning how to heal. Maybe I am too angry. Maybe I am too prideful. Maybe I do have an evil eye. Maybe I do wish that I could have other people's lives. I don't know, whatever your situation may be. It's, it's, it's about being honest with yourself and changing that within yourself that the divine doesn't like. It's about being confident in yourself, not wishing to have somebody else's life, but just making your life more better by pouring that love into yourself so you can build up your own confidence and see yourself for who you are, how the divine made you, how the divine loves you. Yeah, closing out those cycles. I can never make this up. Some people are going to come after you. I sitting here telling my soul sister, I'm like, oh my gosh, what? Leave me alone. Yeah, these people are in secret. They're in secret, running around these, these, these um platforms, trying to trigger us divine collectives, trying to get us out of our energy. But guess what? We're too protected. You cannot. We have connected with our soul tribe. Do you understand that? It's not just me anymore. There's a whole plateau of us that are energetically praying for each other. You understand? When you come after me, you come after my tribe. That's not going to work. Don't get mad. Heal. And realize we are too protected. We're not standing alone anymore. We're in in unity. Do you get that? Ring the bell. Okay. I told you guys I have this one ancestor that comes through through to me. She comes through and she gets like, oh. Then I have the other one that comes and says, no, calm down, ring the bell. <laughs> and when they speak through me, it's like, woo. One of them wants to be a cheerleader. Maybe one of them was. <laughs> I don't, you know? They just like, stand at your pose, baby girl. You are the hermit. You make people go within. You are the high priestess. You make these people who are wounded go within and self-reflect and heal. Aw, I love you guys. And I don't come placing judgment on nobody because you guys know me. Those that know me that have been following me have been following me for a very long time since the beginning of my journey. Okay? You guys know my story. I have been nothing but transparent with you guys. A lot of you guys know my story. And like... You guys, a lot of you guys love my stories, love hearing my stories. Mm-hmm. Transformation. 
a lot of these people are under judgment and then here you come confidently in your strength high priestess star energy on this platform speaking what you speak because you're enlightened and you get these people triggered because they didn't even know that they were they didn't have these things or look the moon wounds judgment you make people go through transformations and that's instead of people getting mad they should be like thank you for helping me i didn't realize that within myself i used to get triggered sometimes too in the beginning of my journey like oh my gosh but then i started realizing the purpose of my journey it was not to feel like i was superior than you know like no that ain't me i ain't like that it's a, it's about me being honest <sighs> it's about me being honest. It's about me releasing this ego, the lower self, and listening to my higher self and being like, you know what? <laughs> Miss Liz, now you know you did that. I mean, being like, you know what, God? I know I did, and I don't like that part of me. Can you help me release this part of me? Because I don't want to be like that no more. God, that's not who I am. I don't know where this type of energy came from. I, maybe I have picked it up from growing up. And being around people. But this is not the person I wanted to be when I was a little girl. I never said I wanted to be this person. I always wanted to be the one to help people. I never wanted to be the one to place judgment. Whatever the situation is. You know what I mean? This is just me talking. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? I'm just looking at this. The the, the We have pride as, a, as a, a deadly sin. We have envy as a deadly sin. Envy is the intense desire to have an item that someone else possesses. A tranquil heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones rot. Proverbs 14 verses 30. Greed. Greed could be another thing. Greed is an excessive pursuit of material goods. Keep your life free. From love of money and be content with what you have for he said I will never leave you nor forsake you Hebrews 13 verses 5 okay everybody has their own gifts and talents we should not be sitting here comparing our lives to others no it's not about that it's about coming in with the with the with the with the love Instead of getting angry at tarot readers, okay, come in with love. What does Nephilim say? She says, I hope you come in peace and sit with your higher self. Oof. I sit there just sometimes. I'd be like, let me pause this real quick, Nephilim. Let me call my ancestors in. <laughs> I swear, I kid you no lie. Because I ain't never too old to get triggered. <laughs> And her shit, her, her videos be on point. Love you, girl. <laughs> oh, I'm being hugged. God, use me. Use me. I'm sitting here in front of you, God. I love you so much. I feel your presence. Archangels, guide me, protect me, shield me. <sighs> oh, I love when I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, I love you so much. You know I do. I got tears in my eyes sitting here in front of you guys right now. Because this is who I am. I always said when I was a little girl, I wanted to be somebody who helps other people out. I don't want to be known for having all this money. I don't want to be known for something that's flashy. I want to be known by people like that person had a great, beautiful, loving, caring, compassionate, non-judgmental, very understanding heart. 1444 on the clock, okay? I always seen this within me. I don't know how, but I've seen it ever since I was a little girl. 
<laughs> and I manifested it. And you too can manifest this collective. You just have to release and be real and be truthful. Oh, divine. Yes. Heal through those conflicts. Some people don't want to admit that they're greedy, that they love money. We all need money, yes, but you should never put that before God. You should never put money before man. Money is an exchange of energy. You should never put pride, envy. What is the next one, spirit? Sloth. Sloth is, is an excessive laziness or the failure to act and utilize one's talents. Sitting on your talents, sitting on your spiritual gifts. Go to the ant, oh slug, sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Proverbs 6, verses 6. 6 talks about balance, baby. You can't be sitting here in competition comparing yourself to other people. That is not a good thing to do. You're under judgment. We're all under judgment. We're all under judgment. And my yacht is like, I and what I can't even get the words out. <laughs> my divine ancestors are like, me first, me first, me first. Wait. Uh, wait. These seven deadly sins are all toxicity that needs to go. There's no room in this new world for that. Justice is coming in. And Maya is sitting in the courthouse. With that sort of truth and balance. Gluttony. Gluttony is an excessive and ongoing eating of food or drink. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verses 31. Gluttony. Too much eating. Somebody needs to fast. Do a three-day liquid fast. Do an intermediate fast so you can connect more with the divine. It's all about exchanging your energy Connecting to the divine. We should be doing that frequently. At least. I'm hearing once a month. That's what I'm hearing. Lust. Lust is a strong passion or longing, especially for sexual desires. Ooh, Archangel Metatron flew out real quick. Blah. So flee, you full passions, and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. 2 Timothy 2, verses 22. Look at these synchronicities. Look at how these are the angel numbers. Do you see what I'm seeing here? These verses are our angel numbers. Baby, Archangel Metatron is here. Spirit said, This is the absolute truth. The seven deadly sins. It needs to go. <sighs> we have lust, sexual strong desire. Lust could be of anything. Lusting over something else that's not yours. Okay? Be honest with yourself. <laughs> Spirit said we should be holding back from this kind of energy. We should not be doing this. Lust, gluttony, sloth, greed, envy, pride. And the last one, 
wrath. Wrath is a strong anger and hate towards another person. Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Romans 12, verses 19. See people in the eyes of love. Never hate, never anger. Okay? Because when you see people in that way, it consumes your mental. And this is how you manifest a new beginning. You start within yourself, never without, always within. How are you going to try to change what's out going on outside without changing what's going on in the inside? As above, so below. As within, so without. So what's going on in your inside is what's reflecting and manifesting in your only reality. You better get these things in check. Spirit said this is the truth. King and queen of wands, king and queen of swords. We need to change that. Somebody needs to change that. Mm-hmm. Learn something new. It's all about learning and reprogramming the old way of thinking. Outdated belief systems, outdated traditions, outdated upbringings. It was not the way. And the moment you start saying it was not the way, you stand in your truth. You stand in your power. You call it back. So call it back. Call it back. And ask God to help you. Yeah, call it back. <laughs> call your power back. Change the direction. I can never make this up. I love you, spirit. Thank you, divine. Be disciplined. Be disciplined. Love is the way. Spirit keeps emphasizing this. Love is the way. This is what the divine says. Love is the way. Somebody's in a divine union, and they're 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 helping. You both are supposed to be doing this. If you're not already. Mm. You guys are just mirroring. This is the soul tribe mirroring one another. I'm hearing. This is the soul tribe mirroring one another. This is beautiful. This beautifulness is combating this devilishness. Trust. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Romans 12, verses 19. I love that verse. Archangel Michael is here. Mm. This is what I got for you guys. Love and light.